Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. We have three stories for you this week. The NTSB issued a statement challenging the findings of the Ethiopian Boeing 737 MAX crash. Southwest Airline cancels more than 2,400 flights. That was a mess. The FAA is proposing $134,000 in fine from an airline in Puerto Rico. And then the FAA also invalidated 140 check rides in Alaska. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is the NTSB that has issued a statement on the final report for the Ethiopian Airlines 737 MAX crash. The NTSB states that the Ethiopian Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau, their equivalent in Ethiopia, failed to include numerous other probable causes of the aircraft crash. The EAIB report states that the nose-down input from the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, also called MCAS, was the sole responsible factor that caused the aircraft to be unrecoverable. The NTSB, however, states that their probable cause includes also the uncommanded aircraft nose-down input from the MCAS due to the bad angle of attack value that was received and also the flight crew inadequate use of the manual electric trim and then also managing the thrust to be able to maintain the aircraft control. Uh, in addition, the NTSB proposes that the operator is at a failure here because they did not ensure sure that the flight crew were prepared to properly respond to uh, the trim behavior and then also uh, that they weren't instructed on the proper procedure that was published four months before the crash. The airplane also impacted with a foreign object on takeoff it appears and that damaged the angle of attack sensor and then provided uh, wrong information to the computer. Your second story this week is the Southwest Airline cancellation of over 2,400 flights starting on Christmas Day and going through this week. Uh, the president of Southwest Airline Pilot Union said that they were not buying the fact that the cancellations were the result of weather, and then instead they were blaming the uh, Southwest Airline leadership and IT. Uh, other airlines seem to have fared a lot better, I'm not going to say well, but a lot better, while several reports indicated that there was a complete meltdown of the Southwest uh, computer system to the point where scheduling had to be done manually. Uh, reports online told tales of uh, crew members that were sleeping at airports due to the lack of available hotel rooms, some pilots even buying rooms for, out of their own pocket for the rest of their crews, but also pilot friends that were uh, trying to get their airline friends out of there using uh, their own buddy passes. So uh, the DOT said that it was examining what happened with Southwest Airline and if they were complying with the customer service plan, as well as other DOT rules and regulation. Your third story this week is the FAA is proposing over $100,000 in fine against a Puerto Rico-based uh, Viasquez Air Link uh, for conducting passenger flights with unqualified pilots. Uh, the FAA alleges that between July and August of this year, the airline used pilots that did not have the proper certificates to operate the twin-engine uh, Britain Norman aircraft that they're flying. Uh, we'll keep you updated if we hear more about this, but I actually have a feeling that this is happening a lot more than we think, and these people people only get caught. Finally, your last story this week is that the FAA has invalidated 140 check rides in Alaska uh, given by this guy called Bush pilot Don Lee. Uh, this happened between July of 2018 and July of 2022. The FAA hasn't released any detail of the entire investigation yet, but an Alaska Airmen's Association has said that Basically, the man in question wasn't doing check rides completely. Uh, anyone who had a check ride done in that time will have to redo it in order to remain current. And then they will get a letter from the FAA stating, uh, well, stating that. Within 15 days of the letter, they'll need to complete an additional check ride. I cannot imagine having to do this, uh, especially for the instrument check ride, which is an absolute uh, pain in the butt. So uh, hopefully this doesn't impact uh, these people too much and they've been flying uh, in the meantime in order to uh, uh, maintain their skills up. So that's it. That's all I have for you this week. Uh, Happy New Year. Thank you for all your support this year. I look forward to doing more of these next year and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.